Let us start with question number one of electromagnetism. This is a practice question. This is a question from your IGCSC past paper. Let us understand what is happening in the question. The figure here shows a simple electric motor with a single rectangular coil between the magnetic poles X and Y. So you see magnetic poles X and Y. You have the picture of an electric motor here. So this question is on motors and furthermore as you proceed the question extends into talking about generator as well. So before we start the discussion if you would like to pause the screen and solve the question yourself please go ahead and do it. Come back solve the question come back and play the video again to go through the answers. Alright so let us start with part A. Add labels to the empty boxes to the right. To the right, this is what they are talking about to identify the paths indicated. So since this is a electric motor, the first thing that they are talking about are these rings. As you see, these rings are split. So it should be easy for you to identify that these are your split rings. Split rings. Second thing, these are the, the black rectangles that you see. They are your contact brushes. If you wish, you can refer the mark scheme. I'll keep showing you the mark scheme as well so that you keep telling your answers simultaneously as well. So the upper box, split rings. Or they are also called commutator rings. Lower boxes, you can call them brushes or contact points. All right. So let us come to the second part. The coil rotates in a clockwise direction when viewed from the point P. So when viewed from this point, it rotates in a clockwise direction. State which of the magnetic poles X or Y is the north pole. So they are asking whether X is the North Pole or whether Y is the North Pole. So before we identify, let us see, let us see how is the current is moving in this electric motor. The electric current comes from the positive terminal of the battery. This is your positive terminal and this is negative. Comes all the way like this. It moves all the way. like this. So that's how the current is flowing. You know the current flowing, you know that the direction of the force on, let's label the sides as well, let us call them side A, B, C, D. So on the side A, B, you know that the force is acting upwards by looking at the clockwise rotation of this coil the question itself says that the coil is rotating clockwise. Clockwise means AB is moving upward. Let me mark with the arrow. What is the direction of the force? The direction of the force on the side AB is upwards. And the direction of the force on the side CD is downwards. Only these possible combination of forces can create a clockwise moment. Right? A clockwise turning. All right, so how do we identify the direction of the magnetic field? Because that's what you need to identify to understand what is the direction of the, what is the polarity of X and Y. So you use the Fleming's left hand rule. Fleming's left hand rule is used to identify the force when you're given the current and the magnetic field lines of forces. So let us bring our left hand force is going up. If you see the thumb is going up, the current is downwards. Current is downwards. A to B is the current. I'm sorry. Uh, I would like to move this hand slightly. Yes. The current is going A to B. The second finger, if you see, the second finger, 
A to B. So the first finger gives you the direction of magnetic field. The first finger is pointing X to Y. The first finger pointing X to Y. What does it mean? That you have your north pole here and the south pole at Y. X is your north pole and Y is your south pole. So which one is the north pole? The answer should be X. Similarly, you can also apply the Fleming's, Fleming's left hand rule for the end CD as well. So if you are applying the Fleming's left hand rule for the end CD, if you see, the current is moving C to D. Current is moving C to D. Your second finger is pointing C to D. Force is acting downward. The thumb is going downward. How is the first finger moving? It is moving X to Y. So X has to be North Pole. So please practice it yourself as well. Use your left hands and apply the Fleming's left hand rule for the end A, B and then CD as well for your practice so that you understand this question very nicely. So coming on to the next part, suggest two changes that causes the motor to spin faster. How can you increase the spinning of the motor? Now these are something that we have already discussed when we were talking about motors. If you have not gone through the chapter on motors, we have a video on motors, please go through it. Two changes, so your answer could be, your answer could be increase, increase the current, make a stronger current, use a stronger battery. So increase, increase the current or else you can use stronger magnets, stronger magnets or else what you can do you can increase the number of coils in the space between in the space here in between you can increase the number of the turns of the coil so there are many things many answers possible let's see what the mark scheme also says yes any two of the following greater current or stronger battery means the same thing more number of turns, use stronger magnets or you can bring the magnets close together. It will also increase the magnetic field. So any one of these two, two points only you have to get because it is just a two mark question. State the effect on the motor of reversing the connection of the battery. So what if you reverse the connection of the battery? What does it mean? It means that the positive terminal comes on this side and the negative terminal comes this side so you're switching the battery and making it like this all right so let us mark the current when this happens the current will come from the positive it flows all the way like this so that's how your current is moving i'm putting the red arrows on the screen as you can see on this loop the current has reversed now apply apply the Fleming's left hand rule. What happens? Bring your left hand on the end CD. So we are talking about, let us name the ends again, A, B, C, T. When we talk about the end CD, the second finger, the second finger, if you see, it points in the direction of the current. The first finger is pointing in the direction of the magnetic field. Where is the force? The NCD is experiencing a force upward. What happens on, this, on the end AB? If you see, if you align your fingers properly, you see that the thumb is going down. So these two different forces, they'll create what kind of a turn? A new kind of turning which is like this, anti-clockwise. Reversing the connection of the battery means you are reversing the current. You need not apply the Fleming's left hand rule again and again. If you remember the fundamental of motors, which is very easy practically, whenever you reverse the current, what happened? the spinning also reverses. State the effect. 
spinning you can say spinning or the turning will also reverse so let us look at the answer as well you can say the coil rotates in opposite direction rotates anti-clockwise or the rotation is reverse any one of these things if you give us the answer it is correct let us come to the last part of the question which says the battery in this figure the battery in this picture is replaced by a resistor now let us remove all the extra information that we have here The battery is now replaced by a resistor. So what are they doing? You now have a resistor here. Let us draw a box which is your resistor. This is your resistor. The coil is made to rotate by an external mechanism. So maybe you are holding this coil from somewhere here and you are rotating it. You are turning it with your hand or with the help of a wind or with the help of the water any one of the forces any different kind of forces from around you can be used to rotate the coil explain why there is a current in the resistor so why will there be a current in the resistor they are saying why because this whole mechanism that you see here in this picture has now changed into a generator you have a conductor this conducting coil which is which is turning in the magnetic field it is cutting the magnetic field lines of forces there is a cutting of magnetic line of forces by the conductor therefore electromagnetic induction takes place electromagnetic current is induced right so here your answer changes to that of the electromagnetic induction magnetic field lines is cut electromagnetic induction takes place it's a two mark question if you give two points you get two marks or else you can also say that emf is induced or the current is induced any which ways give two valid scientific points in your answer and you'll get your full marks let us now move to question number two in the next video.